Well, good morning. It's 9.35. It is early. I've been getting up early and going for a walk in the mornings before it gets too hot. And today I gotta go to work later, but we have some things gotta get done. So beans and my axolotl beans and Frankie, they're care their tanks take care of them the exact same way and Frankie has a fungus on his gills it seems to happen almost every summer when it starts heating up and beans his gills are not looking too great either so you now these animals are in my care so I need to make sure that they're healthy so we're going to basically break down their tanks put them into quarantine clean the tanks out and then I'm gonna paint the backside of their tanks to help keep sunlight out, help them keep cooler. After we get their tanks cleaned out, we're gonna put them back together and get the cycle started again on their tanks. So aquarium cycles need beneficial bacteria. Ammonia builds up and beneficial bacteria starts forming and it creates a cycle. So ammonia, nitrate, and nitrites create this cycle. And their water parameters have been fine. I, I do uh, spot checks on their water parameters. They don't ever seem to be out of whack, too crazy, but their gills aren't looking good. So uh, something's off. So we're gonna pull them out of their tanks today and get them in their quarantine tubs. It's gonna be like a two or three step process. Um, and I got some hornwort to put into their tanks. I'm gonna get them set back up to help with pulling some of that stuff out of the water that may be causing problems with their gills. So today we're gonna get them put into the quarantine tubs and then probably tomorrow we'll drain the tanks and paint them and get the water set back up. I had to buy I had to buy this little contraption. So this is for having multiple airlines. So while they're in quarantine, these two lines are gonna go to air stones. The air stones oxygenate the water so that they can breathe and breathe through their gills. And then these two lines will be hooked up to the sponge filters. As I'm gonna put the sponge filters back in their tanks to start building up that beneficial bacteria and help kickstart the cycle again. So I had a, a small one of these because I have two tanks that use an air pump for the sponge filters, um, but I needed something like this. So we got this, we're gonna set this up so we can get them going in their quarantine tubs. Gotta get them out first. So that'll be next. Oh. And before we continue with the video, hey, hey, before I continue with the video, before we get, get to the next part, do me a favor. I need your help. Go down there and like, subscribe, even ring that notification bell. It's completely free for you to do. It helps my channel out so much and I definitely appreciate it. Did you do it? Did you do it? Okay. Let's get back to the video. I don't know if you guys... Let me make this bigger. I don't know if you guys can see, but my workroom is a mess. I've got all the aquarium supplies out, the dog beds out. I've got the vacuum because I move stuff around. I have the quarantine tubs over here, stuff on the floor. Like... It's just a mess in here. On the other side here, I got all sorts of stuff on the ground. It's a hot mess, but we're gonna get it all taken care of. Well, at least we're gonna get it started. This room will look much better once we're done. So here 
we have the axolotl quarantine tubs. You can see Frankie just gave him worms. And there's beans. Doing their thing. These are just basic Sterilite um, bins you can get at like Walmart or the dollar store. So we got the axolotls in their quarantine tubs. I moved the hornwort over here into Beans um, Aquarium until I can clean it out. The hornwort will stay in there. It's oxygenated. It's treated for chlorine and stuff like that. So hornwort should be just fine in there for a while. <clears throat> and then probably tomorrow we'll drain this tank and Frankie's tank, which is right there. Go ahead and get all the water out of there, clean the filters, the sponge filters, and then paint the backsides of them, put water back in them. That's gonna take a lot of time. Luckily tomorrow I get to work from home, so I don't have the extra time that I have to factor into commute over to work. I can dedicate that time to doing something like that. But for now, the axolotls are in their quarantine tub, safe and sound. They'll be getting daily water changes, like 90% water changes every single day while they're in those quarantine tubs. And they may not like it very much. I'll see if I can get some video tomorrow when I do a water change for them. But because of the different difference in temperature from the water that comes out of the tap and the water that's in their tub. Um, it causes a little bit of discomfort and they shake their heads back and forth. And I went over this in one of my videos, I believe one of these corners. I can't ever remember which corner it's going to show up in um, about the top five common axolotl behaviors. Go watch that video um, if you haven't already, but Axolotls will shake their heads back and forth or gulp a lot if they're put into a new environment. And unfortunately, when quarantine, that happens every single day. So, but hopefully by the end of it, here in about a month or so, their gills will be looking much better. And we can put them back into their regular enclosures. Yeah. So. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a fantastic day. And as always, we will see you. That'll create bubbles, create oxygen, oxygenate, oxygenate, oxygenate. Wow. Did you do it? Did you do it? And we're gonna put the side, uh, the tanks back. Cut. Okay. I'm gonna have a lot of outtakes for this particular video. That'll be fun.